look at this. You cannot create a better video than this, in my opinion. This is absolutely stunningly good. You can see the dog's ears moving. He's waking up here. He's having a nap on the beach. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're back in chat. LLM teams, and they've gone and done it again. They have shipped. They have added in Kling version 1.5. They integrated the API, and you can now use Kling inside chat LLM teams to create amazing AI video generations. They are absolutely shocking how good this is. And they're up to 10 seconds long. So they've got the pro version. They've got it all in here. This is premium stuff here. I'll just show you a few examples real quickly here. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a piece of cake. So here's one here of a French bulldog in an astronaut ship. And because I'm a French bulldog owner, you'll know it is a theme in all my videos. French bulldogs. Look at the ears on this little fella. This is awesome. He's trying to jump out of his rocket ship. He's out there in, in space. If we go to the next one here, this is also created in side chat LLM teams. This one's a little different here. We've got a French bulldog with a nice fuzzy purple hat on, and he's flying on a rocket ship. This is more cartoony style. And then here we've got another version here of an English bulldog, because I like to vary it. And there he is. He's sitting there on the rocket ship flying out to space. And then one more for good measure. Here we go. This one is done in a vertical style. So for you TikTokers and for you YouTube short types, this is the one to watch. I'm going to show you this one here. Look at this. We got our cool looking, cool cucumber French bulldog just reading a book, sitting there on the moon with the earth in the background. I'm going to show you how to create all of this. I'm going to show you how to change your prompts. Everything you need to know. Let's go. All right. For those of you that are following along real quickly here, all you have to do is go to abacus.ai. Links in the description below. And then just click on either chat LLM here up at the top or hover over products and click on chat LLM. When you do that, you're going to see here that it is $10 per user billed monthly. I mentioned that because a single license for chat GPT, for example, is 20 bucks a month. So this is half the price and you get access to all of the state of the art large language models. Once you've gone ahead and done that, click in and get started. All right, here we go. Once you log in, you should see a screen that looks like this, if not exactly like this. What I like to do, go down here to the bottom where it says more, click on that. And then presto, you're going to see five more options. The one we want is video gen, but do note there are a lot of other things you can do in chat LLM teams, and I highly recommend you try them out. But for this one, let's stick to video gen. I'm going to click on it, and presto opens up the form, and now we can start prompting and getting what we want here. So the first step here, type in your prompt. Now, some people like to type in long, elaborate prompts. If you really know what you're looking for and it's very, very specific, go ahead and do that. I generally stick to very basic prompts because, hey, I'm a simple guy and I like French bulldogs and I'm just like French bulldogs reading, French bulldogs sleeping on a beach, etc. So let's just do something simple. French bulldog, um, yeah, sleeping on a beach. Sure. Now I'm going to leave this deliberately simple because I'm going to show you something in a second here that allows you to spice up your prompts. So here we go. We've got French bulldog sleeping on a beach. Okay, good enough. Negative prompt is next. Now, I generally don't put too much into negative prompts. The reason why is most AI video and AI image generators have gotten really, really good at just sort of, you know, keeping things out that you don't want to see. But if there are things that you're especially against, for example, no glasses. Sometimes they put glasses on French bulldogs and that doesn't make sense unless they're reading a book and then it makes perfect sense. So... There you go. I'll just make that as an example. Let's go down a little bit further here. CFG scale. This controls the flexibility of the video generation. What that means is basically how strict do you want the video to adhere to the prompt? So let's see here. Higher values increase their relevance to the prompt. So if I turn this up high like this, it basically will give me a French bulldog sleeping on a beach with nothing else. No interpretation, no latitude, just strict to the prompt. If I want it to go down a little bit and give it some latitude and give it some, you know, hey, you know, add some things in there, add some flair, so to speak, you could go ahead and reduce it. So I'm going to leave it in the middle, but I want you to know this acts basically like a temperature gauge for LLMs, for those of you that are familiar with that. So that's kind of what it is. Now you have a couple of options with mode. They've got standard mode and pro mode, but the main difference part of me is that just the amount of time it takes to generate. So that's that's probably a fair way to put it. The the pro mode looks great, takes a lot longer to generate. The standard mode gets you something pretty quick. So either way, both are great. I'm going to go with pro mode. And then here's the aspect ratio. 
And they've got three aspect ratios, and I think that's great because they've got the three ones that count. 169 is standard YouTube. So, you know, just a regular widescreen YouTube video, and this is the one I use almost always. However, sometimes when I create shorts, YouTube shorts and TikToks in particular, you will want to pay attention to 916. That is a great mode for those vertical videos. And then 1-1, one, one, this one is very, very popular on apps like Instagram where they just basically a square, and that takes up a lot of room on an Instagram. So you may want to consider that as well. For this one, we're going to go 16-9. And then finally, this is a really important point. Look at this. It defaults to five-second duration, but because they've got the latest version of Kling, Kling 1.5, you can now create 10 second videos. So a lot of other AI generators out there, you have five seconds, you know, five seconds, the default, not these guys. They've got the premium version and it's 10 seconds long. And if I go into Kling AI here, for example, you'll see here that I've got Kling 1.5 selected. And when you've got the premium version, you can go ahead and get a 10 second length video. So they've got the whole nine yards here. Uh, it's all in here in chat LLM Teams. I'm now going to go ahead and go, well, before I click, Pardon me, let's do one more thing. Modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. This is the part I wanted to show you. If I turn this on, this basically says, hey, we've got this prompt, French Bulldog sleeping on a beach, but we're going to add to it. We want to make it a little bit more, you know, cool. So they're going to put in other things that they think would be cool for a video. So this is basically just giving the AI generator license to just, you know, spice up your prompt, so to speak, make it a little more spicy. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to click on generate. The next step here is you're going to see it says generating video. This may take a while. Yeah, we've got it in the professional mode, so it may take a few seconds. I'm going to come back when this is done, show you what we got, and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back here. So we've got a French bulldog sleeping on a beach. Now, I ran it twice. Here is the first try, and while it's very, very good, you'll notice here that this French bulldog has a little bit of a tail here, and the coloring is a bit dark. The contrast is a little high. So... What I did is I said, okay, pretty good job. Let's run it again, though. So I created a new prompt, and this one is create a video of a light color French bulldog. And in that prompt, I put in the no part. I said no tail. And when I did that, so I ran it twice. Look at this. You cannot create a better video than this, in my opinion. This is absolutely stunningly good. You can see the dog's ears moving. He's waking up here. He's having a nap on the beach. You can see the tummy. You can see his little belly there. It's, it's breathing in and breathing out. Eyes opening, ears back. I have a French bulldog. This is absolutely stunning. And this is all done literally with one prompt and one click in chat LLM. If this doesn't convince you to try it out, nothing can, guys. This is amazing. Give it a crack. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.